The graphic off to my right is getting so exciting. I can actually begin to read to you the outcome of many of these studies. The past few years, people have really touched you with the censorship. But this is extremely cool in regard to Loctoferrin. And we touched on it briefly over the past two or three years and had to talk around the issue, especially in regard to circumlocutions. But first, let me show you the study in which this graphic derives from. Now let's look at this graphic. This is the benefits of lactoferrin. Now also too, we have to look at lactoferrin as its broad spectrum of capabilities, iron absorption, antiviral, antimicrobial, immune supporting, microbiome modulating, and intestinal barrier. Even though the primary focus of this particular research is regard to COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2, you'll find it's so broad spectrum, and especially since dysbiosis has been so uh, prominent in the communities to, these days, from isolation, masking, so on and so forth, uh, and all these other respiratory viruses beginning to circulate, you find that lactoferrin is very encompassing. Now, keep in mind, this is a collection or a systematic review of other studies, and it's just done beautifully. But look at this one graphic. All right, here we go. So you see this right there. You see unsupplemented SARS-CoV-2 infected individual. And you look at the counters. You look at one, for example, says virus entry via receptor. One, lactoferrin inhibits virus entry. And now this is strong uh, uh, correlation to regard to outcomes of particular studies. So let's keep that in mind. Further research needs to be done. Still just the same. Pretty, pretty exciting. So... Iron-bound lactoferrin prevents pathogen growth as a counter to unbiron iron facilitates virus and pathogen replication. So I really encourage you to, if you can, to refer to the study on your own. But still, let's review. So there's your graphic. Boom, boom, boom. Lactoferrin inhibits virus entry. Iron-bound lactoferrin prevents pathogen growth. Lactoferrin modulates the microbiota. Lactoferrin inhibits virus replication by binding iron. Please forgive the speed at which I speak. We have a lot of ground to cover. Lactoferrin stimulating tight junction, protein expression, T cell activation, inhibition of cytokin storm. Lactoferrin binds iron released by hemoglobin and prevents oxidative stress cell damage. Lactoferrin prevents multi organ failure as a counter to multi organ failure. Again, a systematic review. So, beautiful, beautiful done collection of data over the past few years of a lot of the research which I have not had the luxury of being able to bring to your purview. And it really pains me not to be able to do that because the past two or three years of this type of um, uh, very, very tense environment in regard to presenting information or reading data in reference to science articles has been kind of tough. But I hope you find this information quite, quite enlightening and useful. So let us begin with the research as follows. Can lactoferrin, a natural million milk protein, assist in the battle against COVID-19? Again, it's far more than just that. And it's also maybe a very, very good prophylactic in potential to any future uh, negative uh, events that may occur in the future, per se. Now, I'm take some excerpts, and then we're going to come back around to conclude with the abstract. But we're going to look at the abstract, go into the full study, and then come full circle. The bovine milk protein lactoferrin has attracted interest of nutraceutical food and dairy industries for its numerous properties, ranging from antiviral, antimicrobial, to immunological, making a potential function ingredient to a wide variety of applications to maintain health. Importantly, bovine lactoferrin was found to exert antiviral activities against several types of viruses, including, again, including this is part of the subgroup, certain SARS-CoV-2 variants. Lactoferrin's potential effect on COVID-19 patients has seen a rapid increase of in vitro and in vivo. So you're looking at a petri dish or a test tube and a living organism. Doesn't have to be human. It could be like mouse, animal, rodent type thing and so on and so forth and human. Studies published resulting in a model of how, model of how lactoferrin, operative word, might play a role during different phases of SARS-CoV-2 infection. Performance of the immune system is strongly linked to performance of the gut microbiome. 
Remember in the beginning when all started coming around and people started saying, you notice the upset stomach and gastrointestinal lymphs upset and, and then it kind of faded into obscurity? Well, now we're turning back to that. Uh, and the other way around, because the gut houses over 70% of the body's immune cells. So when that dysbiosis kicks in and that gut starts getting messed up, you're thinking of having 70% of the immune system compromised in some form or another. With age, the number of beneficial microbes in the gut declines. Remember the outcome, people particularly affected with 75 and older with negative outcomes. The microbiome is less diverse and disbalanced due to external triggers like viruses, a poor diet, pathogenic microorganisms, and drugs, antibiotics, etc. This dysbiosis influences the native immune response and may lead to inflammation and an inability to protect against pathogens and digest food properly and to unhealthy aging. Therefore, one can imagine that a gut dysbiosis might increase the possibility of SARS-CoV-2 infection. In COVID-19 patients, the composition of gut microbiome was shown to be different. The number of beneficial bacteria, remember we talked about this for those following the channel a couple of years ago, this is an up and rising star as far as beneficial bacteria, and it's called Fecalibacterium, I always think of sausage, prosinitsi, was correlating Fecalibacterium prosinitsi, was correlating negatively with COVID-19. Furthermore, Gut dysbiosis alongside gut inflammation raises levels of ACE2, a cell surface receptor targeted by SARS-CoV-2. Remember, ACE2 is a big tag word for the longest period of time because they believe it increased a hypothesized and increased susceptibility, which again, in this case, ACE2, gut dysbiosis tends to be elevated, increasing the risk of infection. Although, Lactoferrin has several biological benefits. The host protective effects against pathogens, including viruses, bacteria, and fungi, are regarded as one of the most beneficial. Several reviews have highlighted the in vitro antiviral effects of lactoferrin against pathogens that cause common infections. This is why it's very, very encompassing. Influenza, the common cold, summer cold, gastroenteritis, polio, and herpes. Who would have known? In these cases, lactoferrin inhibits mainly viral attachment or entry into the target cells. Lately, also a number of in vivo studies, living organisms, indicating the protective effects of lactoferrin against common viral infections, including SARS-CoV-2, have increased. A recent meta-analysis of six lactoferrin intervention studies in infants Four studies and two adult studies, four studies in infants, two studies in adults, reported a significant risk reduction of developing respiratory tract infections when using lactoferrin dosage ranging from 200 to 2,000 milligrams a day. A little while ago, I couldn't even read that number off to you. Now I can. Four independent randomized trials in infants from uh, China, Japan, and the U.S., demonstrate that lactoferrin and infant formula is a promising intervention to prevent acute respiratory tract illnesses or infection. In adults, lactoferrin was studied in relation to direct measure on viral infections, diseases as a common cold and summer cold. In the study of, I would say, Viteta, a daily combination of 400 milligrams of lactoferrin and 200 milligrams of immunoglobulin enriched whey protein was given to individuals that frequently suffer from cold episodes. The 90-day intervention significantly reduced the number of cold episodes. And it gives the reference number there. So you see that lactoferrin has a broad spectrum of beneficial protective effects or immune modulating effects on top of that. So you just can't pigeonhole it per se into just saying SARS-CoV-2 because it is really a Swiss army knife of immunological power. So again, lactoferrin has a lot of benefits and it's something just never to let wander too far from the mindset. A perspective, this is, this is cool, check this out. An, a prospective observational study in 75 COVID-19 patients in Spain demonstrated that the combined oral administration of liposomal, fat-soluble, lactoferrin and zinc solution for 10 days allowed a complete impromptu recovery of all treated with patients all, that's 100%, within the first five days of treatment. 
Do you imagine having that immunological uh, powerhouse available to the general public, at uh, least on information wise, early on like this? That is just phenomenal. The number of people that could benefit from this information, provided it's free flowing uh, and unobstructed, is just incredible. To reiterate, Oral combination of liposomal electopharin and zinc solution for 10 days allowed a complete and proper recovery of all treated patients within the first five days of treatment. The same treatment but a lower dose seems to exert potential preventive effect against COVID-19 in healthy people directly related to the affected patients. To continue, the report of reduction in symptoms and shortening of illness duration by 13 days when administering 200 to 1,000 or a gram a day of encapsulated lactoferrin or 1,000 milligrams a day liposomal and 16 milligrams a day intranasal. We covered that two years ago, I think we did. Lactoferrin in COVID-19 patients from Italy. Now we're going to go to the conclusion from the full study and then I'm going to read the conclusion from the abstract because both of them have great information. Full study first. The existing evidence suggests the daily intake of lactoferrin may have protective effects against sars cov infection as illustrated that we showed, especially this review highlights the multiple possible physiological effects of lactoferrin, iron binding, antiviral, antibacterial, immune supporting, microbiota, and barrier function modulation in the battle against COVID-19. Lactoferrin intake may, may protect the host from viral infections by prevention of binding and entry of various SARS-CoV-2 variants and sequestering iron needed for viral replication. Real interesting uh, uh, outlook in regard to how iron and ferritin play a role in regard to this particular virus in question. Furthermore, see I'm still talking circumlocutions. Furthermore, it is indirectly affects virus attacks by having immune microbiome and intestinal barrier modulating characteristics. These six physiological effects of lactoferrin mostly support gut and lung health of people at risk of suffering from COVID-19. Most of the scientific evidence originates from preclinical and ex vivo studies. However, the results of the human intervention studies support the preclinical findings and demonstrate a potential antiviral and immune supporter effect of 2,000 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams of lacto lactoferrin involving multiple sites of the human immune system, covering the innate and adaptive immune system itself. In particular, lactoferrin, one, expression of pivotal biomarkers of COVID-19, like interleukin-6, two, B-cell differentiation, T cell activation, total T cell activation, T helper cell activation, and cytotoxic T cell activation. Three, intestinal permeability, strength of the, of the intestinal barrier function, incidence and length of common and summer colds, an indication of improved defenses against viral infections in the respiratory tract, which again is supported by five, the effects of lactoferrin on the length and severity of symptoms in COVID-19 patients, and that is a mouthful. So the abstract conclusion, and then we'll wrap it up. Here we go. Aim of this narrative review is twofold, to highlight the most relevant findings concerning lactoferrin's antiviral, antimicrobial, iron binding, immunomodulatory, uh, immunomodulatory, microbiota modulatory, and intestinal barrier properties that support health of the two most effective organs in COVID-19 patients, lungs and the gut. And two, to explore the possible underlying mechanisms governing its mode of action, Thanks to the potential effects on health, bovine lactoferrin can be considered a good candidate for nutritional interventions counteracting SARS-CoV-2 infection and related COVID-19 pathogenesis. Again, it is so much more than just focusing on SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 pathogenesis. So I really encourage you to look into it because seriously, it is just one of the most incredible go-to, hypothetically, go-to uh, immunological prophylactics that appears to be out there because if it's broad spectrum of capability on basically helping the immune system or assisting the immune system in a myriad of different functions, from gut permeability to basically immune modulation, antiviral, antiviral binding, iron binding, so on and so forth, that it's tough just to fit into basically a five minute segment. So please forgive me. I have spoken very fast and very rapidly to cover as much ground as possible. The link will be there on the YouTube channel. 
I may have overwent uh, a little further for TikTok and Twitter. I am grateful for, tic for Twitter actually now unthrottling my account. So I'll see if I can rebuild that Twitter account after uh, 10 years. I think we were first throttled in 2012. Uh, but we'll start doing that. And with this openness of information, I hope to bring you more information. Again, just the same, hypothetical, may further studies to be conducted. However, though, extremely promising, just the same. Gratitude to these researchers. I hope now this type of wonderful independent research begins to surface and come to light for both you and I. I am just grateful they're doing it and pursuing these wonderful new avenues, which really help assist us all. In addition, not just to this, but to any future nasties out there that may be around the corner. Let's not think so, I think positive, but still just the same it is really a positive thing to have this at your side, just in case. I am humbled you watch and look forward to see you all once again next week. Ralph signing off. Catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.